everyone, welcome to HE Liquid TV. My name is Don, and today we are joined by Chris Henley, also known as Betty Cocktail. And today we're going to be making some wedding signature cocktails. Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Do you want to know what they are? Tell me. Make, what cocktails I want to know what they are yeah. too. <laughs> we're going to make a few cocktails. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a limoncello spritz. We're going to make a whiskey Collins. We're going to make a watermelon cooler. Okay. But also, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit extra for you. What? We're gonna whoa, make some whoa, really cool. You're going off script here. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead, go ahead. What are we doing? We're gonna make some really cool ice cubes that you can make at home. I love them for an old fashioned, but you'll see you can add some really simple ingredients to up your cocktail game at home or your mocktail game, honestly. Okay, well, let's start. show us what you got. All right. Is that is that all? Did you make sure? No, no, we're good. Oh, we're gonna yeah. do this part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, great. So you can see I've got a large format mold that I purchased on. Amazon, it was probably $10 or less. Mm -hmm. You can get a pretty I've good seen deal. Those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, as long as you keep them clean, you're good to go. I cut up some oranges here because if, in my mind, I had maybe like a little old fashioned action going on. So when you fill up the cubes with your orange slices or your wheels, you gotta kind of get a smaller wheel to make them fit. Okay, I see that. Yep. Uh, then you're going to use some cherries. I have fresh cherries. You can use maraschino cherries. You can use luxardo cherries. Really, whatever tickles your fancy. Mm, luxardo cherries. <laughs> Make sure they all fit in their appropriate cube. Then you're going to top them off with water. Any particular type of water? Um, still filtered or just like tap water? Hose water is fine, okay, well, whatever it fine. takes. So yeah, you're gonna go through, you're gonna fill all of these. I actually like the stem of the cherry to stick out because it gives someone something to play with while they're drinking their drink. I got you. And yep. also they can actually pick up, once the ice cube's melted, they mm, can pick up right, the right, cherry. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna do what they always do in real time on TV and we're gonna do that, right? We're gonna do that, and, and then, then I'm gonna what, show you the finished product. What products. does it magically look like? Well, after... it's gonna magically look like this. Oh, okay. Uh huh. And Fancy. so then you're gonna take your rocks glass that you'd use for whiskey. Yeah, let's put Absolutely. This yeah, there. Uh -huh. Pop one of these guys out. And then you can pour your old fashioned right on top. You can pour whiskey, whatever. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I like that? That looks okay. great. Cool. Thanks. Yes. So right. should we move into the next yeah, drink? Yeah, so you like said, okay. um, what was our first um, cocktail? Was it lemon cello spritz? Lemon cello spritz. So, so actually, before we get started, like, what are the main, out of the three cocktails, we had lemon cello spritz, the, um, what you want, the whiskey collins and the watermelon cooler, cooler right? Like, yeah. what are the main, um, what are the main uh, spirits, spirits we're using? Yeah. yeah, so we're going to use lemon cello for mm -hmm. the first drink. Lemon cello and Prosecco are the things you'll need to get from the liquor store. Okay. Then for the whiskey collins, you'll need whiskey. And everything else you should find in your pantry. Very and nice. then for the last drink, the watermelon cooler. We're gonna use tequila today, okay. but I say you can use any clear spirit. So vodka or gin drinkers might enjoy this as well. Awesome, all right, well let's get started on that first one. Okay, great. So we're gonna take our chalice, our wine glass. That's a fancy word, I love it. Uh, or our champagne flute, whatever mm -hmm. you like. Um, pour about an ounce and a half of lemon cello. There we go. And then at this point, it's up to you. You can either add ice or you can mix the majority of your drink in here. Okay. I like to mix the drink first and then let the ice do its work so I don't have to worry about um, making the ingredients come together at the end. So I think there's a uh, Prosecco in our cooler here. Yes. You want to snag that? that? And then I so think quick question for yeah. all the for all the cocktail idiots out there. So what is limoncello? Okay, yeah. So limoncello is a cordial, so it's not a high proof spirit. Okay. Um, and it's made from if you take the peel of a lemon mm -hmm. and you add sugar to it, the sugar will draw the oil out of the peel. So you let that sit for a little while, and then if you're like me, you just add a high proof spirit to it. Okay. And you've got limoncello. Oh, very nice. So you can kind of like really dictate how strong the cocktails are with limoncello or not. Depending on what it makes it like. Yeah, limoncello uh, is by itself not really high proof. Okay. I think there's a sparkling water in that cooler too. Mm, yes. Yeah. So. Let me open that for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So I found. So we're doing equal parts limoncello, prosecco, and this is hibiscus. This over. 
And the final thing we're gonna do is garnish with a twist or a peel. I'm using a peel today because I like how much effervescence comes off the peel when I peel it. Did you okay. see it yes, sparkling out I when I did that? Try and to you put can my eyes too close to <laughs> You can do a little bit extra over the top. Oh, okay. I and when I did that, you could see how the oils came out of the peel. Yep. I wrap it around the mouth so that whoever's drinking it can smell it while they're drinking it. Gotcha. I'm really big on smell in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> you might notice a little bit more later. Too. Right, right. No, All that's right. fantastic. Cool. That looks really good. So that's a limoncello spritz. Okay. Super sippable, very refreshing. And if you're like me, you might add a shot of vodka to it. Okay. Or yeah. gin. Yeah, but that's, you know, you can do so many things with it. You can do so many right things now. with it. This is a great base way to, you know, sample a refreshing cocktail. Cool. All right. Put that here to the side. All right. And then what's our so the next one is a whiskey collins. Whiskey collins. All right. So what whiskey are we using today? We're gonna use the balcones. Right here. Texas made. Yeah. Everybody That's loves it. a little Texas hot still bourbon. Bourbon. Take five balcones. Yeah. Okay. Where's that from? Isn't that out in like Waco? It's out in Waco. Yeah, that's right. Same place that uh, uh, Dr. Pepper came from. That. Do you ever do <laughs> Balcones and Dr. Pepper? Did they ever? That's a real is that thing. A, is it really? Is and it like a, did you know before Dr. Waco Pepper cocktail? was Dr. Pepper, they called it a Waco? They would they would go to the like. No. Got. No. Fun fact. No. <laughs> too I much information. No, no, no. That's awesome. No, I didn't they, know that. Yeah, they go to the bartender or the uh, what was like a soda shop. They go uh, to the guy and he used all 27 ingredients because people love the smell of it. What? And they walk <laughs> in and they would say, uh, "Give me a Waco." Really? Yeah. That bartender probably hated that, having to do something with 27 minutes. No, he loved it. He was so Did into it. Did he really? That, yeah. yeah, that's why he wanted to do it. Okay, Whiskey uh, Collins. I'll we'll have to find out about that. I don't, I don't. <laughs> you don't any, any, not... any bartender out there, like, if you tell them there's more than five ingredients in something, I don't think they're really going to well, be too excited Well, I think he, he may have pre-mixed it. Pre it. Okay, well, all right. Well, <laughs> I tell you, that's, that's a little too much. That's work. a lot of, that is yeah. a lot of stuff. All right. So okay. Then, okay, so we're doing that, obviously. Yeah. I sit down. Yeah, you want to get a Collins glass, of course. And then you're going to get your shaker tin out. And for me, the rule is two times the spirit, one time the citrus and sugar. Okay. Does that make well, is sense? That two times the spirit? Two times the spirit. Okay. And then you'll top it with soda. And we'll use like this because today because it's delicious. Okay. And it's right here. So in my jigger, one part simple syrup one part lemon juice, two parts bourbon, keep it, we'll give this guy a little shake. Now you can use any kind of bourbon, it doesn't have to be a live this year. It can pretty much be whatever's in your bar. It can be really, yeah, whatever you like. Um, this lends itself with a bourbon is best, but, but rye drinkers and scotch drinkers, they can do this. They, sure they know what they like. All right, shake it up. Okay. Put the way that fancy way shake up that cocktail. <laughs> I'm, I'm from like the speed bartending background, you know, where you're like, you're, you're shaking two, you know, you shake two cocktails at the same time with both sides. Hey man. Yeah, so it's, you just gotta like go if crazy. If it's fun to look at, I say you should do it because people taste first with their eyes. I know, I know. You, and you've told me this before about why I love really to shake say it that. the way it's shaken. So, but that's gonna be another video at another time. <laughs> All right, so I've got my base in there and that looks like just the right amount of size for the glass that we're putting right. in. We're gonna top it with soda. I'm using hibiscus because I love the way it brings out the floral notes of this whiskey. And Perfect. I'm gonna top this guy with a lemon peel as well because it has lemon in it. This lemon's pretty popular today. <laughs> Over the top. And remember how I said I was spraying the, the fragrance over the top? Because mm -hmm. that's what you smell? We're gonna up the ante on this cocktail. Ooh, what do you got there? What do I have here? This is scotch in an atomizer. So yeah, it looks like a perfume oh, sprayer. Well, what's an atomizer? Is it just a spray bottle? 
It is just a spray bottle. Okay, all right, all right. But it's a small one. Oh, okay, I didn't know if there was anything kind of. It like takes the really atoms and neutrons, right, positrons. Right. How much does this thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, no. Right. Right. It's a regular spray bottle. Just a regular spray bottle. You can get them at like Sotab or yeah. Dollar like General, that. something like that. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> That's above so my pay grade. Atom, it's an atom. It's an atomizer. It takes the scotch and it's gonna make sure that it hits all marks of the cocktail. I like to go way high up, but you will make a little bit of mess, or you can go straight in, but they'll get less of the effort. I got you. Smell from it. There you That's go. That's it. One spray. One spray, and That's then right. now, if you want to take it and smell it, you smell you smell scotch, but when you drink it. You don't, won't taste you don't taste it. So you're tasting with your nose on I got this you. One. What's the scotch that you're using for this one? I'm using Oban. Okay. It's my favorite. All right. I call it the gateway scotch. So whiskey drinkers that are not too into scotch, yeah. I say, try this one. This is a little... I feel like that's also another video coming up too. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not a whiskey or a scotch guy myself. So. It's a little bit friendly. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll try that. So the last drink we're going to make... All right. What's the last one? Watermelon nice. cooler. Okay. Cool. So snag, like snag those garnish for me, if you don't mind. These and I'm going to get my there, glass there. prepped out. Okay. Put that on the there so everybody can see that. Bye. <laughs> no, no, we'll use another one. We'll use this no, one. No, as right. long as you can't see it. No, no, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. All yep. right. All right, fantastic. So what's in this one again, if you remind me? So you said this one's just a gin or any kind of clear. We're using tequila today, but use you can use any kind of spirit. Absolutely. Right. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a few chunks of watermelon. I like to go heavy on it because it's fresh, it's inexpensive, and it really lends a great flavor. A few chunks of watermelon. Okay. Give it a good muddle. My friend said to me, what do I do with my face while I'm muddling? And I said, smile. <laughs> And then sometimes I forget myself, and I'm like, ooh, yeah. smiling. Sometimes you get the RBF, you know, when you're doing the, the muddle. Speak for yourself. Oh, no, I've been just saying, <laughs> that's why you have to be conscious about smiling, right? Well, and you are having fun, because who doesn't love muddling? I don't know if you can really make it genuine, because you know, I think that's really creepy, because like, being all I'll like... take some of the lime juice. Oh, it's going to play like this. Get this one. So once again, we're working in parts, okay? Okay, what do you got? I've got one part lime juice. Mm -hmm. I will have one part jalapeno infused agave. I'm not gonna measure it in my jigger because I know most of it will just get stuck in there. Right, right. So in my mind, I just go like one squeeze, obviously, right? Okay. If you're not so sure, you're not so confident in your skills, you can mix this 50-50 with water and it will okay. be much easier to measure mm -hmm. exactly what you need. Okay, that's nice. And then the last thing, most important, tequila. Tequila! So since I did one part lemon, one part agave, I'm gonna do two parts tequila. Then we do what we always do, we give it a good shake, give it some ice. Good shake, just for you. Are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. <laughs> it sounds like a choo choo train, you're doing it right. Oh, There's more stuff to think about. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll put some fresh ice in our glass. Okay. Strain it over the top. Strain it right there. Yeah, and you can see here, I've already cut some watermelon into little triangles because they make the cutest garnish. And then you can also have a snack when you're done. Perfect. I have been munching on it for a little bit. Nice pink color. You yeah. can wedge this way, wedge that way. On a shorter glass like this. Mm -hmm. I like this. Okay. Just uh, like yeah. that. There you go, you got That's a watermelon awesome. cooler. Any okay. spirit you want. You can, if you have a bigger glass, you can have a little soda. Gotcha. So, Question is like so. What makes these cocktails really good for? Why are these perfect for weddings? Well, first of all, these cocktails are all super sessionable, which means it takes you a little while to drink. Okay. And while I think we all want to get the party started sooner, mm -hmm. if a wedding or an event is several hours long or out in the hot Texas sun, you want to give yourself time to have a good time. Okay. So these will take you a little longer to drink. They're hydrating and delicious.
Yeah. So do you are these kind of like more seasonal, or is this something that you can see drinking? Do you have these in the winter, or is there any way to kind of you know, or pretty much any drink you can have anytime. Right? Well, that whiskey drink will do you fine any time of year. True. Lemon chillo, I think, is a little bit more summery. Okay. And watermelon is not in season in winter. So oh. watermelon, so that gotcha. drink you can make, but you want to go with the stone fruit because they're seasonal for the later ones. Okay. Which is also another video. I don't know what time. So lastly, the question on this is, are these more commonly, because, you know, we have a lot of clients that are asking that they want Brides only for cocktails, grooms only cocktails. Um, are these cocktails good for brides, grooms, or are, which one's universal, which one's for the bride, and which one's for the groom? Well, the one for the bride is whatever one she wants. The one for the groom is whatever he wants. Okay. But if you're asking me if drinks are masculine or feminine, I would say drinks don't have genders. Okay, I agree that, yes. Because yes, I so love like pina coladas, <laughs> so no judgment there. And second of all, if I walk into a bar and I see a man drinking a Cosmo or an Appletini. Or a pina colada. No, okay. <laughs> Take that back. All right. I want to talk to that guy because he doesn't care what anyone thinks. And honestly, a real man or a will, real woman drinks whatever they want. So if if you like any of these drinks, that's what you should drink. Okay. So the moral of the story is uh, drink what you want and uh, love who you want. <laughs> and the other, yeah, so I, I know I do a lot of craft cocktails, but honestly, when I'm hiding in my favorite home of all bars, I get a vodka soda, and I say, don't tell anyone. Right. Well, you know what, that was, that's a question that I ask, like, actually, for most bartenders. Everybody thinks, especially for a craft bartender, that your favorite cocktail is something really fancy. And then, you know, it really disappoints a lot of people when they ask me, you know, what's your cocktail? And I said, mine is just a um, Corona and a shot of Patron. <laughs> Yeah. And then, like, and then rather rinse, or rather rinse, rather rinse, repeat. Well, yeah, just over and over again. Sometimes more tequila than than uh, Corona. Corona. I mean, <laughs> it just depends on the uh, on the situation. But for yours, what? Just a vodka soda. Just a vodka soda yeah. with a lemon. Oh, I know it's very nice. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, joining us today. Um, you know, have fun making these cocktails. And uh, if you're interested in uh, more recipes and watching um, more videos, please uh, like and subscribe uh, HD Liquid TV. Thank you very much. And also, please make sure to follow Chris yeah, at, follow. at Betty Cocktail yeah. on Instagram and also on Facebook. So we'll uh, leave the links in that on the bottom below, and then uh, we'll see you all next time. Cheers.